Well, hello, YouTube fans out there today. How are you guys today? Well, I'm going to talk to you guys on how to make a demo for your incandescent light bulbs, your LEDs, your fluorescent light bulbs as well. For all the uh, light bulbs out there today on the market, you can actually dim with a demo. Uh, you're going to need a 1000 watt demo. You're going to need a 1 inch, 1 and a half inch conduit thing here. And you're going to need two outdoor junction boxes made out of aluminum. Uh, these are made for outdoors, but I can actually use them for indoors. There's my 1 inch adapter connecting these two boxes together. Um, you're going to need an outlet. Uh, that's a single outlet at 15 amps by the way. Going to need an outlet plate to cover the outlet. You're also going to need a sideways outlet plug for like your extension cords and stuff. And by the way, you only need two extension cords uh, for whatever project you're going to be using the one extension cord for for maybe your lamp or your chandelier or whatever. And you're also going to need one of these guys. It's just a standard size demo. I know you guys seen these before, but I think you guys have. It's going to need one of these demos, demo switches. Now, this demo switch is actually an auto demo switch, by the way. Uh, this may not work with the CFLs. These may not work with the end of the... Uh, the LDs, but they definitely will work with the incandescents. But uh, with the uh, stranded cable, like when you're going to be using your extension cord and stuff, you're going to need maybe a couple of these crimp on connectors. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, there's a crimp on connect, and it just crimps on the, the ends of the stranded uh, cable for the. Uh, for the uh, cable itself, thus to kind of give it more better contact, I guess. But you don't need to use these. You can also just wrap the strand cable around the terminal screws. That would also work too. But the reason why I'm working on this little project is just to work on it and give me something to do, I guess. But the the chandelier will be using this stuff. Is going to be this guy right here. You guys can see that's a monster of a chandelier. It only takes three bulbs, but you know it'd be kind of nice to kind of do a different, uh, different way. Now again, here's my base. It's the base that's going to be on my on my uh, chandelier. Now typically, when you have a chandelier, it's typically only going to be hanged on the the wall and stuff like that on your ceiling and stuff but i just want to show you guys on how to use a different method on how to use a demo switch and a outlet in a outlet uh, plug hill the way i'm going to plan on doing this now typically the way you typically do this is you typically use just the switch you don't use the outlet, you would actually feed the power shoe one of the holes to the outlet and one of the hole and one of the two hot lines off of the demo switch going to the demo itself. But the reason why I'm going to make it a little different is I want to uh, do it a little different with the outlet by the way. Now again, this outlet, it's a pretty nice looking outlet. This is the outlet you're going to need. So it's a single outlet, 15 amp. Again, it has your neutral ground and also your hot. Now again, this one is also a child safety uh, plug as well. Um, the reason why I'm going to attempt to try to do it this way instead of actual fooling around too much with the <laughs> too much with the uh, wires going from. The demo and how much feed of the wire you're going to need from the, the switch and and stuff like that. Uh, you can do it however you want to do it. You can do it um, 
connecting thus the demo switch to your chandelier that way but uh, this would be a good method on doing it too because it would be kind of fun to kind of do it that way but also note on some of the tools you might need well the tools you're going to might need is I will actually bring some tools and show you uh, they need a pair of wire cuddles it's a standard wire cuddles dial um, you're going to need a good pair of wire strippers. You're going to need a screwdriver. Try to put this stuff together. Um, for your stranded cable, uh, when you're going to be using those crimp tools, you're going to need a crimp connector for your stranded cable. That's a good tool to have. Um, another tool, in okay, case so you want to take a chandelier apart, you might need this to stock it to take it apart, but you don't need to take a chandelier apart to uh, put this demo together. And, and most other tool, I also get an outlet tester, they also test out your outlet as well. And also you're going to need electrical tape to electrical tape the outlet screws, the terminal screws. And one important safety thing you're going to definitely need is a GFI. If you're going to do this, I'd recommend building your own safety. Your own safety. Your GFI. Right here, guys. This will be what I'm going to be using when I put this, uh, when I put this, all this together. It's one important safety thing to ever have to able to put <laughs> one of these uh, one of these guys together. Now I haven't tried this um, get guys because this is actually the first time I'm actually going to attempt to dim a 15 15 amp outlet 125 volt uh, 25 volt outlet hill. Typically, you don't normally don't do that because typically the outlets typically feeding current into the outlet. But this way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. The top one's going to be for the demo. The bottom one's going to be for the the outlet. Okay. But I haven't decided on where I'm going to put the wire yet. I don't know if I'm going to put the wire through the bottom or it shows through the top. But by the way, these does come with all the necessary hardware you're going to need to be able to put these on your wall. Okay, it does come with the necessary hardware like your you know, screws and your mounting, your mounting plates and your plugs. It comes with one ground screw, and it also comes with two silver screws for the two silver guys here. And this also does comes with the same thing, comes with the same style hardware. Let's go ahead and talk more about this junction box. So, now this junction box is a outdoor wire shoot junction box. After you put your outlet inside of it. Uh, by the way, I will not be using these outdoors. This will be used only indoors only because when I put my outlet in my outlet cover on here you notice son it has a bit of a space to it because this is actually not designed for this type of box it's actual this is designed for one of the small boxes this actually fits pretty good on the top um, this actually is going to have, each of the each of these boxes are going to have three holes. It's going to have a top hole, side hole, non top hole, side holes, you know, stuff like that. I just to join these together by using my coupling here to join and make these solid. And do not put any type of insulator, uh, like plumber's tape, don't put any of that stuff on there. Because you want to make this box a very good grounded box as well. Because that's the way the ground has to kind of go into the boxes. I, like I said, I haven't decided on where I'm going to put everything yet. But 
Uh, this is a one inch, uh, one and a half inch box. Pretty nice size for what I got to do for what I need to kind of do what I need to do for how to get this together. And I will be using stranded copper. I will be just using my stranded neutral, my stranded ground, and also my stranded hot. By the way, this is just half of my stranded copper, but this is not what I'm going to be using. But uh, this is what I'm going to be using in my in my experiment on the uh, box hill and also in hill. Um, I'm going to be putting ground on this because this is also metal. And this is also metal. And we just want to make sure other things kind of protected and stuff. Now, these guys are really good for stranded cup or use as well. Um, it's a lot of things you want to take on safety of. Uh, make sure when you do your projects, make sure you do have the power off and don't test it when it's being plugged in. After you put it together, or then plug it in with a GFI circuit like I have here. I have my favorite tester all the time. When I'm building anything, I always grab my GFI. And I will to do a tutorial on that and show you guys on the GFI how I made that as well. But you see, this is just a very great way to do a different type of demo switch. A demo switch typically just goes in one junction of the box, you can put the power through here and you can put the on cable through here and make it uh, dim that way. Uh, but the problem is if you want your, if you want it to be on the outlet kind of thing like this, and you want to unplug it and plug something else into it, uh, you can do that. But I also do not recommend plugging your electronic devices into this demo switch uh, outlet um, thing I'm going to be making now. But I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a good double. How, uh, other thing I'm going to be using and how it's going to be properly using. I'm also going to be using heat shrink, uh, just to also protect the, uh, uh, strands of cables from the not coming loose. Now, this outlet has two, uh, two ways to do it. You can actually put the strand of copper, the copper inside. Uh, the whole hill, or if you want to use just a standard standard uh, connector like this, and it fits us perfectly, that's fine on these both sides. That would be, that'll be my one way to do it as well. Now the reason why I'm going to be using the uh, the uh, these little pork fix uh, connectors. It's why I don't have to do too much of restripping my wires and have to end up uh, destroying a bunch of my wires and end up have to get more wire and end up stripping more of the wire and stuff. This is just one way to do it. I tested it out with these uh, connectors. To, they're pretty good uh, way they are. Um, this is a very good way to make a different type of demo uh, switch with an outlet, but Okay, so the outlet's gonna go on the bottom and the demo switch is gonna go on top. But after I get my two extension cords I'm going to need because I'm going to need an extension cord for this, I'm going to need an extension cord for that, I've got a three piece grounding uh, cable like I said. Your heart's like a jalapeno. Uh, your white is like snow. And the green is like your green grass outside. Alright guys, I will keep you guys updated on this. If you are new to this channel, please uh, subscribe and also please like, uh, please share, uh, please leave a comment. Peace out. Bye guys. We'll keep you updated. Alright, later YouTube fans.